For years, 1UP has helped riders stash their tools in their steer tube thanks to their EDC system. Until today, you needed to tap threads into your fork steer tube if you wanted the full-size EDC tool to nestle inside. But now, 1UP has a new threadless carrier for steer tube stashing without steer tube threading. I'm Mike from The Lost Co, and in this video, we're going to talk about the new 1UP EDC threadless carrier and show you how to install it. One Up's EDC or Everyday Carry Gear is designed to store your tools inside of your bike rather than in a pack. And today there's two styles of EDC tool. There's the EDC Lite, which is more simple and minimalistic. And then there's the full size EDC tool, which is a more expansive and capable tool. The EDC Lite is totally different than the full size EDC tool. And the only part shared by both is the actual multi-tool itself. To learn more about the EDC Lite, check out this other video of ours. Now, like I said, the full-size EDC tool is a more expansive and capable tool with tons of functionality. Now, over the years, the EDC tool has had some revisions to make it more sleek and functional. And at the time of this video, we are on the EDC Tool V2. The EDC Tool V2 has 20 functions. The heart and soul is the 10 function multi-tool with two, 2.5, three, four, five, six, and eight millimeter Allens, a T25 Torx, flathead screwdriver, and EDC threaded top cap tool. There's also a built-in tire lever, chain breaker, sizes zero, one, two, and three spoke keys, a press -a valve core tool, and a spare rotor bolt. There's also a spot to store a spare chain quick link. And on the bottom, you can either thread on a CO2 cartridge or use one of the two included storage capsules. There's a small size storage capsule, which can fit some random doodads and the tubeless jabber and bacon strips from the add-on plug and plier kit to quickly fix a tubeless tire puncture. Also, there's a large size capsule to store some random goodies like money, zip ties, gorilla tape, patches, etc. Altogether, you've got plenty of tools to fix mostly any trailside repairs and store some goodies as well, all out of your pack and stashed inside of your bike. This EDC tool can fit inside of the 1UP EDC pump, but the most popular place to put this thing is in your fork steer tube. The original way to install this into your steer tube is to cut threads into your steer tube and use the EDC threaded top cap to tighten your headset preload. Then out came the EDC stem, which makes it so that you don't have to cut threads into your steer tube, which works pretty good, but still isn't quite as secure as threading the steer tube, which is why the threading method is still the most popular method. This over here is the new 1UP threadless carrier. Yeah. Let me just put this back up and talking cool. Okay, cool. This makes it so you can install the EDC tool into your fork steer tube without tapping threads into it. So no more need to purchase the thread tap kit and no more need to cut threads into your fork steer tube. With the threadless carrier, you can install the EDC tool with either the small storage capsule or no capsule at all. Heads up, the EDC Tool V1 with the green multi-tool will not fit in the threadless carrier and only the EDC Tool V2 will fit. Installation is incredibly easy and we'll show you how in just a minute. But first, let's check to see if your fork is compatible. The threadless carrier system is compatible with mostly all forks out on the trail, besides those with oddly long or very short steer tube lengths. The forks that just do not work are the Fox 38 Factory or Performance Elite with that ovalized steer tube. The Fox 34 from 2012 through 2015, all giant overdrive forks and all Cannondale Lefty forks. So sorry Cannondale Lefty owners, you, you can't put this tool inside of your fork. So if you have a Fox 38 with the ovalized steer tube, you can still use the full size EDC tool, but you'll need to tap threads. And the 2012 through 2015 Fox 34 is only compatible with the EDC Lite. However, the Fox 38 Performance is compatible. That's the Fox 38 Performance, not the Performance Elite, which does not have an ovalized steer tube. For all other forks out there, we'll just need to measure your steer tube length. Measure from the absolute bottom of the steer tube where it presses into the crown to the top of your steer tube with your top cap and upper spacer off. This example fork measures in at 220 millimeters. For RockShox forks, the length must be between 210 and 265 millimeters. And for all other compatible forks, it must be anywhere between 185 to 265 millimeters. Now, like I said, this is going to fit a large majority of forks out there. So if this will fit your fork, let's get into installation. Okay. <clears throat> 
Included in the threadless carrier package is the threadless carrier itself, the lower cap, four black socket cap bolts, and a silver M6 bolt with washer. To install, first remove the large storage capsule or CO2 cartridge from your EDC Tool V2 if you're using one of those, and then remove the lower O-ring by hand with a pick or with the little 2mm Allen on the multi-tool itself. Then remove your top cap and bolt and any spacers that are on top of the stem and put on some safety glasses. Now you just need to remove the star nut from your fork steer tube. There's a couple ways to do this, and the easiest way is to just use a hammer and a punch to smack it out of the bottom of the steer tube. Make sure to hold a rag underneath to catch the star nut and metal shavings so they don't make their way to the fork seals. Don't have a super long punch? Well, no worries. Alternatively, you could use the star nut removal tool included with the EDC tap kit if you have one of those, or use the M6 bolt and washer included with the threadless carrier combined with either a hollow cassette tool or 15 millimeter quarter inch drive socket as a pulling tool to remove the center of the star nut. Put one of those on top of the steer tube, thread in that bolt, tighten it down and out comes the center threads. We've tried both methods and prefer the socket method as the smaller quarter inch hole in the socket is more resistant to mushrooming the washer. Then just smack one side of the star nut with a screwdriver or punch until it turns sideways and yank it out with some pliers. Next, real quick, make sure you have about three millimeters between the top of your steer tube and the top of your stem or spacers like you normally should just so you can properly tighten your headset. Included in the threadless carrier package are four black bolts of varying lengths, and next we'll figure out which length bolt you'll need to use. There are two ways to do this. Option one, measure your complete steer tube length like I did back when we talked about compatibility, and look at this chart up on the screen, which tells you which bolt you'll need to use for your length steer tube. On this bike that we're using as an example, we've got a RockShox Lyric. It has a steer tube length of 220 millimeters, so we'll be using the 60 millimeter bolt. Option two, grab the second longest 80 millimeter bolt, put it in the top cap, which you'll notice has an integrated O-ring which holds the bolt in it so it doesn't fall out when it's upside down. Now slide the carrier into the steer tube so that the bottom rests on top of the bolt, and if the top of your steer tube sits between the marked lines, then you're good to go. If the bottom line is above the top of the steer tube, then use a shorter bolt. If it's above the top line, use a longer bolt. So grab the bolt you need, drop the carrier down onto the bolt, and carefully line them up so that the carrier threads into the bolt. Hold the bottom cap and thread the carrier clockwise onto the bolt until it's just barely snug. Now you just need to get the carrier and tool oriented to your preferred direction. The most common way is to have the top of the tool point right like this towards the drive side. The tool can only fit one way in the carrier, so play around for a second to get the tool in there and simply turn it to your preferred direction. And finally, hold the top of the tool so it can't spin, rotate the bottom cap with the drain hole towards the rear of the bike, and then finish tightening the bottom bolt with a four millimeter Allen key, just as tight as you normally would for a normal stem top cap for headset preload, which is no tighter than two Newton meters. If you already had your stem installed and tight, no need to loosen it up before installing the carrier. But if this is a new bike build or you loosened your stem's pinch bolts, just tighten those back down to the stem's labeled torque. Now before you hit the trails, be sure to go door to door and let your neighbors know that you finally got that sweet multi-tool stashed in your fork. Now you just need to hit the trails with no need to remember if you brought your tools with you. The EDC tool fits super snug and secure in the carrier, so no worries about it potentially falling out while on a vertical bike rack or riding through rough trails. If you need to use it on the trail, just yank up on it and it pulls right out. To put it back, just slide it down and smack it back in. The 1UP EDC threadless carrier sells for 40 bucks and comes in eight different colors. And that's a pretty good price considering that the EDC tap kit alone was 35 bucks. You're probably only gonna use it once, 40 bucks for this guy, and it's gonna stay in your fork for a long time. So there you have it. That's the rundown on the 1UP EDC tool and threadless carrier. Would you guys run this in your bike? Or are you gonna stick with the threaded steer tube method? Let us know in the comments below. If you guys have any questions on this or anything else bike related, give us a call at the shop. 360-306-8827 or shoot us an email to sales at thelostco.com. To order some 1UP EDC gear, click this link right here to head over to our... 
to order some one-up EDC gear for your bike, click this link right here to head over to our website with free USA shipping on all orders over 49 bucks. Now until next time, I'm gonna try to like get into engineering school or something because I just have no idea how one-up comes up with this stuff. All right, peace out, later.